countries around the world have eased the lockdown restrictions. But the pandemic has not ended yet. The number of cases is increasing. The world is searching for a cure. Researchers are learning more about the novel coronavirus with each passing day. Search for a vaccine is in progress across the globe, but at the same time, they are keeping an eye on the changes in SARS-CoV-2 virus to know whether SARS-CoV-2 is changing or not. Coronaviruses didn't just pop up recently. Coronaviruses are the family of viruses and SARS-CoV-2 is the seventh and a new member of this family. Change is the only constant. Every organism on this planet changes itself in one way or another. When a virus infects you, it attaches to your cell, gets inside it and makes copies. Like we copy and paste any file on a computer. If there is a copying mistake, the RNA of the virus gets changed. RNA is a genetic material in which all the information that the virus needs for its functioning is stored. There is no specific reason for this change and the changes can also occur due to environmental factors. The change in the RNA causes a change in the virus. These changes are known as mutation. Although the virus has a mechanism which prevents these changes, they still might occur. Let's come to SARS-CoV-2 virus. The RNA in the virus is made up of sequences of molecules A, G, C, U. These molecules are called bases or nucleotides. SARS-CoV-2 has 26,000 to 32,000 of these nucleotides, whereas humans have 3 billion nucleotides in them. How SARS-CoV-2 will behave depends upon how these nucleotides are arranged in its RNA. Mutations cause changes in this arrangement. If the change is happening again and again, generation after generation, then it can lead to a different variety of the virus, which we call a strain. A strain of a virus is a subtype of a virus or another type of a similar virus. On 3rd March 2020, a research paper was published which talks about the continuous evolution of SARS-CoV-2, which means that the novel coronavirus is changing. But if the virus is changing, then there are a lot of factors associated with it. Do we need multiple vaccines? Will the different strains require different treatments? Will the new strain be more dangerous? According to the research paper, the SARS-CoV-2 has two strains termed as S and L. When the disease outbreak began, there was only one strain and that was the S strain. But after some time, the L strain emerged from the S strain. Researchers observed that the L strain is more prevalent and much stronger than the S strain. When SARS-CoV-2 enters our body, it binds to the cells in our lungs. The SARS-CoV-2 have spike proteins which attach to the ACE2 receptor of a cell membrane. The spike protein of L strain binds much faster than the spike protein of the S strain virus. Hence, the L strain is more dangerous and spreads faster. The significant difference between the S strain and L strain is in their spike protein. But some scientists claim that there aren't two strains of the virus and a study in India says that there are 11 strains of SARS-CoV-2. Genetic mutation is a natural process and it will continue to happen. Scientists need more data to know how many strains are already there and what these strains mean to human health. Does that mean that we need different vaccines for different strains? Researchers are focusing on those parts of RNA which do not change and hence vaccines can be developed considering these parts. Relaxation in lockdown doesn't mean that the pandemic has ended. Till we find a vaccine for the coronavirus, social distancing and hand hygiene is a must. Wear face covers in public and do not step out unless it is necessary.